everybody. Let's Geo go! With A, B, C, one, two, three, and Do, Re, Mi. There's endless people and places to see. From the classroom, they can search and explore. With every adventure, you learn more. They visit countries near and far. They love to learn wherever they are. They see the world in a brand new way. They make great new friends every day. Looks like a dinosaur. Oh, that one looks like a whale. That one looks like a house. A house in the sky. I wonder if anything can actually live in a cloud. Good question, Do Re Mi. I know one way to find the answer. Let's search it. A cloud is made of very tiny drops of water or tiny pieces of ice. The drops are so small and light that they float in the air. We're a lot bigger and heavier than a drop of water. So I guess we couldn't live in a cloud. Wait, this says there are forests that are so high up, they're actually in the clouds. A forest in the clouds? Tell me more! Like rainforests, cloud forests are very wet. Since it's a forest that's in clouds made of water, no wonder it's wet. And unlike a rainforest that gets most of its water from rain, cloud forests get most of their water from the clouds that cover them. There are only about 20 cloud forests in the world. Ooh, there's the Monte Verde Cloud Forest. More people visit Monte Verde than any other cloud forest in the world. Wow, it must be pretty special. It's high in the mountains in the country of Costa Rica, in Central America. And part of the forest is protected from people cutting down trees or hurting any of the animals. So what are we waiting for? Let's Geo go! There's Costa Rica! Oh, it's beautiful! Look! There are the clouds! That sign says, Monteverde Cloud Forest Reserve. The reserve is the part of the forest that's protected. That's exactly where we want to go! Oh no! My phone! inside a cloud. I wonder who this phone belongs to. Hello? Maybe somebody lost it. He looks like he loves adventure just like us. But how did this get here and where is he? Oh, this is one of the prettiest flowers ever. That's called an orchid. It's a Rossio Glossum orchid to be exact. Oh, hey, here's a fun fact. Instead of growing in the ground, orchids grow on other plants. Ooh, this cloud forest is one of the few places in the world where you can see so many different kinds of orchids. More than 500 different kinds. Here's another orchid. That looks like the Guaria Morada orchid. Oh, the Guaria Morada is the national flower of Costa Rica. The people of Costa Rica believe the Guaria Morada brings good luck, peace, and hope for the future. <gasps> a blue-throated golden-tailed hummingbird! One of my five favorite hummingbird species! That orchid is already bringing us good luck. More than 30 different kinds of hummingbirds live in the cloud forest. Lucky birds! Look, it's drinking the flower! Drinking? Orchids have a sweet liquid inside called nectar. It gives the hummingbird the energy to fly. <laughs> and with wings that flap 50 times a second, it needs all the energy it can get. ABC, what are you doing? Drinking some nectar. I think somebody already drank all the nectar out of this one. <laughs> a hummingbird has a beak with the perfect shape to drink the nectar from the orchids. <laughs> You're right! Huh. Does anybody have a straw? <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen a tree branch grow like this before. That's 
because it's not a branch. It's actually a kind of vine called a liana that wraps itself around trees. <laughs> Whatever we're walking on tickles my toes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a plant called moss that grows on rocks and trees. <laughs> well, it feels pretty mossum. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, do re mi. <laughs> Ooh, look at those pretty rocks. Those aren't rocks, they're eggs! And that's a hummingbird nest! Oh no, it must have fallen from a tree! Aw, oh, don't you worry, little hummingbirds. We'll put you back. We sure will. Come on, let's find a safe spot to put the nest. A spot that's not too far from here, so the mother hummingbird can find it. That's a highland tinamou. It builds its nest on the ground. <sighs> Maybe we can put the nest in here. <laughs> That's a resplendent capsule. They use their powerful beaks to hollow out rotted trees for their nest. There sure are a lot of birds that live in the cloud forest. When lots of different things are found in one place, that's called biodiversity. Oh, <laughs> hello, friend. I'm happy to see you, too. Do you want to play? Great, me too. How about a game of tag? You're it! <laughs> I don't think it will ever catch you, ABC. Why not? That's a three-toed sloth. They're the world's slowest mammals. Sloths are so slow that stuff called algae grows on its fur. The green algae actually helps it blend into the trees so that hungry jungle cats can't find it. That gives me an idea. How about a game of hide and... <gasps> that baby sloth was hiding this whole time. You win, little guy. Oh, wish we could stay and play, but we have to find a safe place to put this hummingbird nest. Right, do re -mi. Nice meeting you both. Are those leaves walking? The leaves aren't walking. They're being carried by ants. Those are a special kind of ant called leaf cutter ants. One ant can carry more than 20 times its own body weight. Wow, they're like tiny little superheroes. I'm gonna call you Mighty Ant. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder where they're taking all those leaves. Good question. Let's find out. That must be where they all live. Maybe they're going to use the leaves as comfy little beds. This says they use the leaves for food. I guess that's one way to get your vegetables. And the ants don't actually eat the leaves. They use them to grow their own food. They oh. what? Millions of ants can live together underground. The ants keep the leaves in a room where a kind of fungus grows on them. Then the ants eat the fungus. So the ants, which live in a colony, are like farmers! Way to go, mighty ants! Hi up there! That looks like fun! Mind if I join you? Yup, this is fun! <laughs> what are you doing, ABC? Just hanging out with my new friend. <laughs> ABC is always making new friends. Hey, do you want to help us look for a place to put this hummingbird nest? Uh, ABC, can I show you something? Sure. Capuchin monkeys, <laughs> that's you, eat lots of things in the cloud forest, like fruits, nuts, insects, and eggs. Excellent point, one, two, three. <laughs> you and Dore me take the nest and keep searching. My new friend and I will keep exploring. I'm sure one of us will find the perfect place to put the nest. Wait for me! <laughs> <laughs> you worry. We won't rest until we return your hummingbird nest. Dory me, come quick! Look! Oh, there you go. All safe now. Wait till we tell ABC. Goodbye. We did it. We found the perfect place.
place to put the hummingbird nest. Way to go! ABC, one, two, three, do, re, mi? <laughs> I wasn't expecting to find you here. My name's Jacob. Hi, Jacob. We came to see what it's like to live in a cloud. Me too. People come from all over the world to visit this cloud forest. Hey, we've seen you before. That's right. We saw a picture of you on your phone. The one of you skydiving. <laughs> You found my phone? I've been looking all over for it. Come on, we'll show you. <sighs> Thank you. I didn't think I would ever find my phone. It fell out of my pocket when I was on the zip line. Zip line? Ready, set, Geo, go! It's time to sing along! In Central America, high in the mountains, sits a special place with clouds all around. In Monteverde, in Costa Rica, a bosque nubo, so or cloud forest is found. Clouds are made of tiny drops of water or ice, so small and light they float in the air. Mouse, 